looking mm. to try something delicious that's unlike anything you have ever tasted before, mm -hmm. then you should head to Gross Point Woods. Yes, because our Michelle Oliver is taking us to dine in the D at a family run bistro where you can fill up on some of the most popular cuisine of Venezuela. Most of us in Michigan like to escape to someplace warm during the winter months. But Vanessa and her husband Christopher did the opposite. We're from Venezuela, both of us. We came visiting my sister-in-law, his sister, one winter, and we like Michigan. We loved Michigan. Maybe Venezuela was a little too hot for us, I don't know. <laughs> Being experienced restaurateurs, they decided to open up a restaurant in their new home of Gross Point Woods. Garritos. The restaurant is brightly colored and very welcoming. They serve authentic Venezuelan food as well as some of their other favorites. First of all, Venezuela is right in the Caribbean Sea. So we have ingredients like rice, black beans, of course beef, pork, chicken, uh, plantains. Plantains are huge. None of it is spicy though. Some people ask me about that. It's not spicy whatsoever. It's really tasty and fresh tasting as well. If you want something special to drink, try one of their homemade teas. We don't have any straight black tea or green tea. We have them all blended, but the blends are, are tailored to meet different kind of customers, different tastes, depending on their mood, or the weather, or whatever they're getting for a meal that day. And one of the most popular items here are their arepas. But first, what is an arepa? I have no idea. <laughs> Something to, new to Gross Point. The uh, best way to say it, it's kind of a corn bun. Uh, pretty good weight to it. Uh, very tasty. Oh, I know that answer because I've been here before. <laughs> it is the, oh, is it Venezuelan sandwich? It's a street sandwich. Arepas are a staple in Venezuela. They're, they could be breakfast, lunch, dinner, a snack. To really get a handle on what an arepa is, Vanessa invited me into the kitchen to make some. We start with corn flour. The process got really simple about 100 years ago when an engineer managed to make a flour and save us like 20 hours of processing with the corn. I like that because we don't have 20 hours. <laughs> <laughs> then comes the water and some salt. We just want it to be all wet mm -hmm. and you'll get to mix it. Yes. <laughs> I want to be the mixer. This reminds me of like being a little child playing with like Play-Doh or something. Hey, that's perfect. That's how you learn in Venezuela. That's how you learn? This yes. is your Play-Doh. <laughs> <laughs> you look great. You're natural. Thank you. <laughs> and the next thing, you get a little bowl, not too big. How about actually, how big? Like a baseball or smaller than a baseball looks like? That it fits in your hand comfortably, like that, because okay. otherwise you won't be able to make it round. Okay. So it has to be a bowl, and then you just roll and you turn it around so it doesn't end up looking weird. But when you have it there, you just have to start squeezing it down, trying to make a desk. Once we're done pressing them out, we cook them by either frying them or grilling them. Then you cut them open and stuff them with whatever you want, like sauteed shrimp with onions, garlic, and parsley, or grilled chicken with fresh avocado. It's good. This was very different, but very delicious, so we will definitely be, be back and bring you some friends. Well, you already saw her, but Vanessa Gonzalez is with us, now one of the owners of Garrido's. Good to see you. Great you call this here. a visit, we call it a perk. Yeah, it's just nice to be near you and all this food. <laughs> Traditional Venezuelan dishes. This is wonderful. Well, thank you so much, yeah. Chuck. It's okay, great now, being Kaleen, here. The spread is beautiful, but you're going to teach us how to make something today. What are you yes. teaching us? We call them cachapas. Cachapas. Okay. Cachapas. Cachapas. Right. So what can we do? Because I They're can... like a corn pancake. Right? Okay. So they take a little bit to cook, but I'll show you the steps Great. and then we have a couple ready Sounds for okay. you. Great. All righty. Would you help me, Tess? Sure. Okay. What if we put this corn that it's already processed in here? Mm -hmm. Of course, the best way to do it is with fresh corn, with ears of corn. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we, um, with a knife, we run it down so we get the kernels out. Here we have the kernels. Mm -hmm. we lose. And then it goes in the processor, in the food processor, about a minute or two until okay. we have sort of a mash. Okay of the corn. And then, and then for that amount of corn, we would add 
one egg and mm -hmm. we're gonna start mixing up. Okay. I already added a pinch of salt there. So these are cachapas are with yellow corn, but arepas yes. are with white corn, right? Yes. Okay. And actually for the arepa, we have now a flour that makes it more easy. Easy, perfect. Yes, because it and used to be a And you couldn't use cornmeal for this? You could, or you just prefer to use the real stuff right off the cob? Well, in Venezuela, there's like a special cornmeal for cachapas. I see, okay. Mm. Yes, but I, we don't find it here. here. Okay. And to tell you the truth, it's much better with the corn. It looks good, <laughs> yeah. All righty, I'll be adding some of this for you. Beautiful. And what's that? That's the corn flour. Oh, this corn is a flour. same one we use for the arepas. Mm -hmm. So we use it so it, it clings a little bit better. Mm -hmm. So it's more together. It sticks together a little yes. bit, okay. I'm glad you've got her doing that. I can mess up any <laughs> dish, even in Venezuela. Oh my goodness. Sure. I don't think so, Charlie. Oh, we just have to find the right dish. Okay. That's right. Thank you. It's just positive. Positive reinforcement I, I'm for positive. Chuck Gator. You, yeah, yeah. you got this. I'm standing near the stuff that's already made. Thank How could you not be positive? <laughs> well, would you like to put this on the stove? I'll go. do it, sure. All right. You just have to In fill there? that circle. Okay. Sure oh, come on. Even I can do that. He's saying that because that's the easy part. He's like, oh, fill it in? No problem. Here Watch. I go. Yes. That's it. That's it. Oh, Vanessa, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, See, I told you. Well, oh, look what I. Oh. It's okay. Is that going to be a crispy edge? Yeah. I like those. Are you having fun? I, do. I am. That's Come on. That's what I want. Okay. And <laughs> that will, that will cook now, that fries. Yes. That mm -hmm. has to cook on the griddle for about five, seven minutes on the first side. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then with the spatula, we make sure it's easy to release. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not sticking to the bottom. At that point, you know, you can flip it. So we take the ring out. Gotcha. And at that point, we flip it very carefully. That's that's the easier part to damage. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the flipping part. Because right. you want to yes. make sure it's cooked all the way, right? Sometimes when yes. you're working with corn, if it's mushy on the inside, it's no good, yes. right? Okay. Yes, this one's a moist pancake mm -hmm. from the corn. It's really nice, soft, moist texture, but it shouldn't be raw. Right. So then exactly. you're able to use these in a myriad of dishes. Do you want to help us explain from here on what you've brought with you so we can understand? Mm, yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we have up here the seafood salpicón, that's an appetizer. Oh. We serve it with mm. plantain chips that we call platanitos mm -hmm. back home. Yeah. Yes, uh, and it's sort of a seafood salad, traditional in Venezuela. Mm -hmm. We also brought some more arepas here for you. Mm -hmm. uh, we brought the bombshell, which is really popular lately. Um, the traditional brunette, the pulled beef, and also the kraken, which is all octopus salad. Delicious. All yes. right. We awesome. brought some Venezuelan style lobster yeah. tails with tostones, which are also plantain in a different shape. Mm -hmm. Our seafood pinchos with shrimp and a side of mussels. Okay. And that's our fantastic wasacaca. It's delicious. Venezuelan for guacamole. Guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> that's the tricks with the trade, yes. yes. And then this one? Oh, those are tajadas. Those are ripe plantains, ripe oh. fried plantains. So those are really sweet. So we serve them with a sort of salty cheese. Yeah. Mm. It makes a good match for them. Keep it going. Yes, that's our uh, Paula Summer Dream Salad mm -hmm. with a little bit of goat cheese. It's the creamiest goat cheese you've ever had. Okay. And then what you've just made here. Yes, we have a couple pre-made cachapas. cachapas. We, we have one with the cheese and the pool beef. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that cheese is actually quite a, um, extraordinary. It's the most similar kind we could find to the Venezuelan cheese. Okay. Yes. And so. very quickly, you brought some teas, which apparently you oh, are known yes. for far yes. and wide. Yes. Oh, Would you like you. to try yes. one? Yes, which flavor is this? This is the Rainbow Rooibos. Okay. They're all blends. And very Tati's nice. having the blueberry infusion. Mm. Actually, these two are oh um, they're nice. herbals, yes. so they have no caffeine. I just sweeten them with a touch of honey. This is delicious. So remind Thank everybody so where much. you are so we can all come visit you. Oh, yes. We're on Gross Point Wood mm -hmm. on Mac Avenue, the number of the building, 19605. And uh, we'll be there until 9 p.m. tonight. All right. And we'll sample and let you guys know how good it is. <laughs> good to see you. Enjoy <laughs> your you weekend. Thank you so yeah. much.